Hello guys, welcome back. Uh, I wanted to do a video on exactly what I'm using for equipment to run my uh, all my controls on the uh, 737 cockpit. Uh, and the program that I'm using to do it with. Uh, it's a really simple program. I think I mentioned it in another video. It's called Real Sim Control. Uh, and I think they changed their name. They might have changed their name to HCSCI, uh, something along those lines. But if you if you type in Real Sim Control, you'll get the site to come up. Uh, there you can download the plugin. It's a free plugin. I'll show you this in a minute. But I wanted to show you exactly what I'm going to be using for this whole complete cockpit. Um, this whole cockpit is going to run on an Arduino Mega 2560 uh, along with two or three or four UNO boards at the most that I'll need. Um, each, each UNO, each Arduino UNO, and I think you can use a Nano too. Uh, on this uh, program, but each of the of the uh, Unos are going to run uh, either stepper motors or servo motors, or uh, one's going to run the matrix for the um, FMC computer. Um, so that's what those will be used for. I think I'll need four of these. There was there was another item that I'm going to be using too. Um, but one, one Arduino board and three or four of these and a bunch of these little items here they're like a dollar fifty each these are called multiplexer boards multiplexer and each one of these multiplexer boards will hold 16 inputs or outputs, depending on how you use this. So I can get 16 inputs out of this one card and I can take one signal and use one pin. One pin will run each card. Uh, so that's uh, gonna save uh, a lot on Arduinos for sure. Uh, these will also run your LEDs and your seven segment displays on the output. Use them for an output and you can run the seven segment displays. Um, I will show you how I'm going to hook these up. So let me get, let me just slide this computer over here. Let me adjust the camera so you can see better maybe. So here's the website. This is called Real Sim Control, uh, and here we are, Real Sim Control, and we're going to go to, uh, let's go to Inputs. So if we go to Inputs, we're showing this card right here. Here's your little multiplexer card, also known as a Mux card. You have your seven, you have your 15 uh, outputs or inputs. And as you can see, these you can daisy chain as many as you want on these. As long as you run one signal wire back and put it on one pin, each one of these has to have a signal wire going back to the uh, Arduino Mega 2560 for one pin each. So you can see one pin is going to do quite a bit. Uh, and they're daisy chained off of four signals, signal uh, terminals uh, all along here. And how I'm going to do that, I decided was I've made up, I've made up a cord here um, out of some data cable and I've soldered my wires onto the, in, onto the uh, signal terminals of this uh, multiplexer board. And as you can see on the back, They've got a resistor and a jumper for ground. I've done that. I've jumpered out the ground on these two terminals and I've put this, added this resistor in. You'll have to do that for your in, input multiplexers. On the other end, I just simply 
put a cat5 uh, connector on there and here's what I plan to do with that I'm going to I've got this data board this is kind of a distribution panel uh, you'll see these used in computer rooms and office buildings and things like that for to run their data systems um, I can plug each one of these in and I'll have one wire from each of these pins coming out to put on my uh, uh, Arduino board um, and of course you're gonna what I did was I took for example, I took the green wire, I took a green wire here and I just ran it and looped it to every one of these inputs all along the way. And then I took an, the, the white green wire and I did that the same way all the way along. Everything is daisy chained, you can see. So wherever I plug this in, these were all wired the same. So wherever I plug this in, it's going to, uh, receive the signals here. And so that's how that's going to work. So you've got uh, outputs here. So we're going to run outputs. We've got what's called a DM a, D, a D, DM13A um, and each one of these little DM13As will run 16 LEDs. And you can daisy chain up to four of these LEDs to get, I think, 84, uh, I think it's 84, uh, 96 or whatever it is. Um, and what I've done here was, I've got one of those to show you somewhere here. dropped it on the floor. Here we are. So here's what I did. I've kind of uh, made up this little board here and I've hot glued these modules on the DM13As. I glued them on and back here I've got my resistors. You'll see resistors here and what I'm going to do is run each one wire from each LED is going to come back to all these little terminals. You can't really see them, but they're sticking out here. All these little pins on the sides here, they're all coming through here. And I'm going to solder each one of these LEDs onto all these pins. <clears throat> and that's great for the uh, forward overhead that I'm going to show you now. Progress in the forward overhead. Um, let me adjust this camera for you. See, here's my forward overhead here. Um, I've got all my switches in, all my enunciator lights are in, and I'm ready for wiring this. So what I'm going to do is, yeah, I've got about a hundred of these enunciator lights um, that are all going to come back to here. So I'm, I've got this group of DM13As. I'm going to have to make another group because there's a hundred of these. A uh, hundred of these guys in um, and <clears throat> excuse me um, so I'll probably need about two or three more of these uh, I'll fill up two or three more of these with this um, I'll fill up two or three more of these with this to run all these uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one side of each input. For example, I'm going to take a ground wire from each terminal. I'm just going to daisy chain on the switches. I'm going to daisy chain, we'll call it the ground wire, all along each terminal. Jump in the common terminal on to double switches. Uh, over to here, double, just keep continue jumping all the way back. And the same thing with the LEDs. We're gonna take one side of these. As you can see, the power side is gonna be common to all of the LEDs. So 
we'll take and we'll, we'll daisy chain the power side all the way across to all these LEDs. And then <clears throat> the other side, the negative side, each light is going to come back to its own terminal on the DM13As. And um, that should uh, that should take care of all that. Um, well, this is a pretty short video, but I just wanted to give you an update and show you what exactly I'm doing. Again, this system uh, works great. I want to show you the system again. Um, this is, again, real sim control. Uh, and what you'll do is you'll come over here to the configurator. When you're ready for programming, I'm going to select a plane, Boeing 737. I'm going to come down here. I'm going to go to the forward overhead. Let's say I want to program uh, this switch right here. This is going to be for the uh, bleed air system here. Now, if I clicked on, let me blow this up for you. If I click on one of these switches, I can come over here and I can click on a switch. And you'll see that it highlights. And I click on that and it brings up, let me show you here, it brings up, this out of the way. It brings up my Arduino, my main Arduino, and it's asking me to select a. Uh, so I'm going to select this switch right here. Uh, it's asking me to select an input. I'm going to uh, just choose an analog. Oops. Let me just choose an analog pin. And I can go up here and I can select an input multiplexer because that's what I need because my all my switches are inputs. So I'm going to select that and you'll see that I've got 0 through 15 which corresponds to 0, 0 to 15 here on the multiplexer. So if I could just assign this to 0, to this, uh, I can assign this switch here to 0. And it's on air, air recirculating fan. That's done. I'm programmed. Uh, that switch would work once I once I saved it and downloaded it to my X-Plane file. Uh, that's saved, and that switch will actually work inside the sim right now. Uh, that's how easy this program is. I've tried the other programs that are out there. Um, I have no clue how to program. Uh, code programs, uh, data refs, um, I, I, it's a nightmare to me and it's a, pretty much impossible and I tried to learn it and I couldn't. Um, but this here is just, for me, it's uh, dummy proof and it's just so easy. Um, call it uh, Sim Configurator for Dummies and this is great. Um, I love this program. Uh, I probably wouldn't have been able to program my sim without this. I came across this by accident one time. It popped up on my feed. Um, but anyways, um, I'm going to get started on these wire, on the wiring for these switches. Um, I will uh, get back to you, and I will exact. I, I will show you exactly how I'm going to program every one of these. I'll go through every one of these switches and enunciator lights. And we'll program them so you can see how easy it is. We'll uh, go into the sim and we'll try it out. Make sure it all works. Uh, all right, guys. Well, I appreciate you watching. I'd appreciate a thumbs up too as well. And, uh, you know, catch you next time. Thanks.